Hey, this is Massimo and in this video I'm gonna talk a little bit about fixtures. So after the configuration of inputs and outputs, the next step is to add some fixtures to your QLC Plus project. A fixture represents a physical device. It could be either a static light, a moving head, a smoke machine, a dimmer pack and so on. QLC Plus includes more than 1600 fixture definitions and they can be accessed here from this fixture browser panel. These definitions are fundamental for QSC Plus to understand how a fixture works and how to control and preview it. As you can see I have a list of manufacturers here uh, so I can uh, select a specific product or perform a search. So if I, for example, want a bar, I've got some results. And when I click on a specific product, a little panel on the bottom shows all the parameters that I can set regarding this fixture. These parameters must match the actual physical fixture parameters. So for example, I can give a custom name to the fixtures that I will add. Then I can select on which universe these fixtures are. Um, I can give a specific DMX address. I can specify the quantity of fixtures I want to add. So for example, I'll add two. I can specify a DMX addresses gap among each of these fixtures. So I will, for example, introduce a gap of three. And then at last you have the so-called uh, DMX mode in in other contexts this is called uh, personalities uh, and again this must match the mode you selected on the physical fixture so if you want to inspect the channel mapping of each mode you can press this little button here and you will have the list a list of all the channels of the each mode so if you uh, scroll among them for example these fixtures fixtures have four of them so if you scroll among them you can inspect the actual channels and how they are mapped so I want the 24 channels so basically RGB control when I'm happy with all the parameters I can do a simple uh, gesture uh, a drag and drop gesture to add them to my workspace so I will do this and the fixtures are actually added to the project. Right now, uh, with the output activated, I'm already communicating with these fixtures. So if I matched exactly the all the parameters, I am already, QSC Plus is already controlling your fixtures. So I'll add some more, like some RGB uh, static um, lights. I want to add them to universe 2, address, let's say 10. I want three of them and no gap. I want the dimmer RGB mode. I'm happy with it. So drag and drop and they're added. Generic dimmer uh, is a special case in QSC Plus. It doesn't have modes. But you can use it like in two different ways. So let's add them to universe three um, from address one. You can do, uh, you can add, for example, four uh, of them as single fixtures like this. Or you can, um, for example, on another universe, you can add just one dimmer pack. For example, one physical device with multiple outputs. And for example, let's say I have one with six outputs. If I drag and drop it, it's basically represented like this because each output is considered to be an emitter. How can you tell uh, how QSC mapped them uh, in the correct way from another view like DMX view? Here I'm seeing basically uh, all the universes but I can filter by universe for example on universe 1 I have my bars 
on universe 2 i have my generic rgb uh, fixtures and on universe 3 i have my dimmers as you can see i have four dimmers as individual fixtures and then i have one let's say dimmer pack with six outputs you can also inspect the fixtures from the universe view uh, which is a, a view of all the possible dmx addresses of one universe so 512 and in this way you have exactly the feeling of how the channels are mapped on which uh, address so if i go to inspect universe 2 for example i have my uh, rgb fixtures uh, in this view in this preview you have the possibility to change the dmx address very easily of each fixtures like this you click on it and you drag and drop it wherever you want so this fixtures fixture have been moved to channel 27 and i can do something like this and it's very easy to change the addressing while preserving uh, the fixture fixture ids fixture ids are basically the ones among square brackets so on universe 3 again I can see the difference between individual dimmers and one dimmer pack. Again, I can, for example, want uh, a, a gap among them, and I can do something like this. In, I've, I can also see them in the 3D view. And since I drag them in the 2D view, QSC Plus doesn't know uh the it's missing basically one axis the the z axis so basically it, it mapped everything on the same level like this but i've got two bars the three rgb lights and four individual dimmers and one dimmer pack again this is represented at six uh different uh lights because you basically will have six different lights in the real world Okay, so um, it, with the so-called uh, fixture group manager, you have uh, basically a tree view of uh, all your fixtures. I've added um, several of them on different universe to show you how the tree is organized. You can double click on a, on a group to basically open and close it. Um, when you see the expand um, indicator it means that a fixture has more emitters and in fact my bar has eight emitters and again you can see the difference between individual dimmers and one dimmer pack also here because individual dimmers has just one emitter so it's not it doesn't even have the expand button but here uh, it is and it says it has six the the pack has six heads so i can select each head and see in the preview which one it is so in this manager i've got a few helpers like if i select a fixture i can rename it to something else like like this and i can also inspect the a whole universe in this way uh, this is a, a grid style view uh, showing a table of uh, information about the selected universe i can add more columns like this and uh, the nice thing is, and the reason for having a white background in this page is that this view can be printed to paper or uh, a PDF if you want. Now I have uh, not so many fixtures here, but uh, when I have a lot, it can be helpful to have an overview of uh, the universe usage. I can also inspect a single fixture like this, and it will show me all the information that I should already know about uh, the fixture. This can be printed as well on, on paper or a PDF and sections can be expanded or collapsed like this.
There's also this button here to uh, show and hide uh, channel properties of each fixture, but this will be treated in a separated video. So for this video, this is all. Thanks for watching. Ciao.